Hey y'all, welcome back to the shop. And yes, we are back in my shop. Uh, no more uh, working at my daily shop on cars and stuff. We got some small engine stuff to do. Today, we got a Husqvarna 445 chainsaw. Customer complaint is the clutch is messed up on it. Uh, won't drive, so um, I looked at it, got a clutch ordered, so I'm gonna show y'all how to change it out. All right, y'all, here's the chainsaw I was talking about. It is a Husqvarna 445 X Torque. So, uh, to access the uh, clutch, we got to get in here. And the owner was nice enough to uh, not send the bar with it. So, we won't be able to test it, but, you know, we will, ooh, we will get that all cleaned out of there and uh, get this all cleaned up. But here's our clutch, and... Uh, yeah, it looks uh, looks like it got pretty warm. So uh, let me round up a couple tools here, and uh, I'll show you how to go about getting this changed out. All right, y'all, get started here. What we want, what you want to do first, is on this chainsaw, it's got three little plastic clips. You pop them off, one on that side, one over there. Pull it out. Take the cover off. Now take the spark plug out. Now you can use a a uh, piston stop, but most people don't have a piston stop. It's kind of a specialty tool for a small engine shop, unless you're doing a lot of a lot of work on your chainsaw and stuff. But pull that chain, pull that spark plug out. Get you some rope, and just start feeding some of it down in there. You know, it can be pull old pull start rope. Any any kind of you know soft rope. And I try to get I try to get as much as I can down in there. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna ball up in there, and when that piston comes up, it's gonna work as a piston stop. So we can and these are counterclockwise, so and there, this one even has a little thing that says off that way, so Oh, there she is. She's right up against the stop. So now this is a kind of a specialty tool I made up. It's got a couple little pins here, just a piece of aluminum. This one was made for weed eaters. It's got the hole in it to go down over where the shaft comes out. But same concept. Just get it in there, kind of hold the saw, and give her a give her a couple of twists there. Maybe. All right, y'all. You're in where I need to be, so I'm gonna turn the saw here so that I can see. Oh, there she went, I think. I think she went. Yep. All right. Now this one has gotten really hot, so that's probably why that was stuck on there. So there's that. Pull that off. There's your drum. And if you guys can see, this thing is cut all the way through. So I don't know if maybe they were using the wrong chain on here or what. But uh, yeah, that's why it wasn't driving no more. So, okay, got that drum off. There's a little needle bearing here. Pull that off. Now, some of these saws, your higher end saws, will have a hole down through the middle that you can put a chug of grease in, and this one does not have it. So, this right here, that's your drive for your oil pump, which I have a new oil pump to put on this one. So. I'm going to get a rag, kind of wipe this out a little bit more, and see if we can't get this pulled up out of here, and we'll replace the oil pump while we're in here. So, give me a second. All right, y'all. Got that kind of wiped down out of there. 
take this screw out of here lay it over here in a safe place and pull that oil pump out out of there that's the drive for the oil pump that's not the oil pump itself all right here's your oil pump Woo. it's been a minute since it's been clean but it'll be all right we'll get her cleaned up all right so all right i'm gonna show you what we got here this little plastic thing here you can see has just basically a coil around it and then the oil pump itself has teeth that as it spins it will pump the oil I don't know which way this one spins one way or another it, sp it spins and uh, well, let's see if it spins this way and this one spins this way so it would go this way it would have to go pretty fast but your oil will come out up here and there's your little hose that pumps it up tanks you know there so let's break some parts out here and uh, we'll make sure everything is copacetic and everything is going to fit so now I did get this off the jungle website and there's the part number y'all can see you look at number up and in my research this kit will uh, work on any of the 400 series saws including I believe some of the I think they're called farm hands or ranchers or something like that so we're gonna match this up yep looks pretty good centers look good you see how blue that got so it got pretty pretty hot so we'll set that off to the side there's our new clutch right there see it's got the thing that says off all the same so lay that down in there oh we even got a new dog here but that one feels kind of chintzy compared to that one feels kind of thin yeah I think we'll just we're gonna leave that one on there this one this one doesn't look like it's the highest highest of quality so all right there's our new drive here's our new pump and we got the new bearing that goes on the shaft so put that all over there all right there's our new pump and oh the chain tensioner so maybe we'll throw a new chain tensioner on there too if it matches All right, I think we got everything we're gonna need here. Uh, got another drive, another drive thing here. I don't know what this one's for. Oh, it's for the uh, go, goes in the side case there. Goes in there, and there's the little bushing that goes in there too. So that one actually doesn't look very bad. It doesn't look like it's chewed up any. So I'll put this stuff, that stuff back in the bag and I'll give it to the customer because it technically is his and we'll give that back to him and uh, not back to him but give it to him. So now we just need to pop this up out of there it just comes out just like that there's two holes in it top and bottom two holes in this one make sure you got them oriented right slide it back in that little rubber tube and you can't really you can't really mess it up it looks like here because it uh, has flats on the sides here each side that will align it a little pin back here that goes in there and oh yeah she rotates nice and freely.
all right so there's all that and how that how that's driven so you guys can see on the end of here there's little grooves and this thing goes right in there like that so that's how it gets its drive is off of that so now with nothing to do but put her back together so we'll get our little cover pan here and I'm actually going to take that outside shoot her with a little brake clean and get all that nasty off air and uh, I may, might as well take it out and do the rest of the uh, saw too so we'll bring you back when we get her all cleaned up all right y'all got that pretty well cleaned up so we're going to slap her back together here get that back down in there grab our one little retention screw put that in there Give it a little ugga dugga there. You don't have that's just plastic. Don't strip it out or anything. So uh, I need something else. I'll be right back. All right, now we got her. So wipe that shaft off there a little bit. Now this is just something I do. You don't have to do it. It just gives me a peace of mind. I just take a little bit of grease. Put in there. I know this is going to be turning with the shaft, but you know, it just makes me feel good. So, all right, take that grease, put it around there. I'll take my new bearing, and I'll just give her a give her a little bit of coat of grease. I mean, I know the oil and stuff from the chain will kind of work its way down in there but I just like to have a little bit of extra a little bit of extra just to make sure you know so it's like packing a carb bearing so all right all right there's that get a towel wipe my fingers off here Take our drum, put it on there. Oh yeah, she's spinning nice. Take this, and we're gonna turn it backwards. It's left-handed thread. Remember we had a little off there. Well, we're going on now, so. All right. That spun on. Now you just gotta snug these. You don't have to he-man them on there because the saw will uh, tighten it itself while it's running. And what I do is I just I'll run it down until the engine spins. All right. There's that, she's good and tight, flush like it was before, and we got this replaced, so let me, uh, I need to take this out and uh, get it all cleaned up, I'm going to clean that cover up, I'll probably take the uh, air cleaner off, give it a good puff puff, just uh, pour your rope out and uh, we're good to go, so, alright, uh, let me get this stuff cleaned up and we'll get this thing buttoned back together. All right, y'all, I just wanted to show you that uh, everybody makes mistakes. When I put that rope in there, I didn't have the piston up far enough, and it started coming out that exhaust port here. And when I bound it up, it actually cut that rope. And I, you guys probably can't see up in there, but the piston is, uh, there it goes. It was stuck on top of the piston. So we can get the piston all the way down here. Yep, there's that. You grab a pair of needle nose. Get that little piece out of there. 
There's one little piece left in there. Sorry I'm shaking the camera so bad, but I need my right hand. All right. Got all the little pieces parts out of there. So now I should be able to spin this thing over all the way around. Yeah. All right, y'all. Yeah, I see one little piece left in there. Which it should be all right. I mean, it'll, it would blow out with the... So, I took the muffler off to get to that. Um, I started looking at it after I shut the camera off, and I noticed the end of the rope was frayed. So, I looked down in the cylinder with my bore scope and seen that. So, yeah, don't do like I do. Make sure that piston's, you know, almost all the way up before you uh, start putting that rope in there. So, all right, got that done. I'm going to put that muffler and stuff back on, and uh, we'll bring you all back. All right, y'all. Got that uh, little piece of rope off. Got the muffler back on. That that spins nice and free now. Well, I did before, but so hopefully the customer's happy. Um, I just got to take this piece out here and get it all cleaned up, and uh, we'll get it slapped back on. And uh, pull the air cleaner and uh, take the other cover out there and clean her off too. So I got to run the air compressor, so I'm not going to let you guys on because it's noisy. So be right back. All right, y'all, got that piece cleaned up, but I think I'm going to suggest to the owner that he replaces this because if memory serves me correct, this is supposed to be connected and not rubbing on that spring there. I think when it kicks, I think this is supposed to come down and hit the drum and stop it, but I think it's worn through, so I don't know if the chain brake is actually working or not on this. Um... Uh, I don't have the bar or anything to be able to try it, so I don't know. Um, but I will suggest to him that uh, he gets that replaced unless he don't want to chain break. But why you wouldn't want to chain break, I don't know. But I don't know. So, all right. Let's get this thing back together now. So, all right. Get that thing flipped over like that. Back on there. Get our nut on here. And I'm just going to put this on finger tight because, like I said, don't have the bar, so I can't uh, I can't lock her down. I'm going to put the spark plug back in it because he said it was running. So we're not going to replace the spark plug. All we were asked to do is replace that clutch and the kit come with that uh, oil pump and stuff. So we went ahead and threw that in there. Give that a little snug. Put the spark plug wire on. Snapped on, snapped in place. Got that down there. That looks good. Get our cover. Get our cover back in here somehow. How did it put it in the right way? There's a hole right there that that relief snap 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 she turns over so I think she's ready to go I mean it works but I mean it's making noise so all right there you have it she's all back together now I don't like the Mm -hmm. I guess when you have the bar in there, it pinches it down a little tighter. So, all right, that's it. All right, y'all, there you have it. I replaced the uh, chain clutch on your Husk Var Husk Varna 445. Um, like I said, it's all, I think it's for the whole 400 series. 
uh, and some of the, I think the ranchers or farmhand or something, something weird. This hole is discontinued, um, but it still works good, he said, so he's going to keep using it. Um, but uh, so there you have it. Appreciate you watching. If you liked it, please hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment down in the comment section. And if you're new to the channel, I'd suggest you subscribe to catch everything that we do here in the shop of my daily shop out on the road tractor poles wherever we happen to be doing something so and i'm filming so anyways appreciate it. love y'all remember keep wrenching